welcome to this short video on uh, applying some enamel powders to our pewter keyring here. Now we're going to use some enamel powder as you can see here we've got a nice blue one and a orange one and these can be fired at just 150 degrees celsius so there's no need for a specialist kiln you can do this in your oven at home. Um, these colours can be used on a wide range of surfaces so you can use these on wood, porcelain, glass, silver, copper, bronze um, and even stone and ceramic but in this case we're going to be using it on our little pewter disc here which is going to become a key ring. Now you can get some great effects by sifting through stencils or shapes and we've got some of those to show you now. So I'm going to start off today with my blue colour. Now these come with a really really nice little um, sieve on the top here that you can sift the uh, enamel through. So you can see here that actually on my piece of card I've actually just um, hole punched some little holes out as a little template because I don't want this colour to go on every single part of our pewter here. So nice and easy I would just like a couple of dots around the edge of my keyring. So as you can see I place my template over where I would like my blue colour to be. And I go straight ahead being sure not to get any colour onto the metal itself other than in that little hole that I've got. Um, now the thing with these colours is you do need to be quite specific in that they need to have a real even coverage. Think of it like snow, um, that's what you want the enamel powder to look like. We don't want to see any of the surface of the metal within that little shape that we can see there. So again I've got some uh, different templates here so actually I'm going to add a small zigzag to the side of my um, keyring there and these are just shapes that I've cut out with a Stanley knife just out of some scrap card. Now as you're doing this sometimes it's helpful to get somebody to hold it for you. I'm slightly shaky um, today so apologies if it's not as sharp as it would be if I had somebody holding that little template for me but as you can see there it does give quite a nice little shape. Now on the other side I'm actually just going to do a nice straight line so a really simple one there. So I hold that over and I'm going to take my orange again and sprinkle over. You'll notice that as I'm doing this we're not being so spare, you know, I am putting quite a lot of powder on and that's because I want a nice dense colour on the keyring that I've got it when it goes into the oven. Now you'll see, if you make some mistakes or you've got some areas that aren't quite smooth enough, just use a little piece of scrap card to neaten up any edges that you feel need to be neater or a little bit sharper. And I tend to do this every time I apply the enamel especially to a keyring like this. This keyring's got quite a nice geometric um, shape as a circle so I want my patterns to mirror that. Um, and we can do this all the way along and push the enamel into the shape that we want it just to neaten it all up. Now you can blend these colours. Um, it's a bit of a trial and error. Sometimes you can mix the colours on the same object um, and sprinkle them over. The white is a nice colour that will make it a really nice kind of transparent shade and also if you uh, sprinkle your colours from a height what you're going to get is a nice kind of dusting um, of the colour. So if I go ahead and do that now you can see that we have a nice dusting and this adds actually creates a nice bit of tone and a variation between the densities of the um, powder that you've got there. So this will go ahead and bake into the oven. I will do this one at home and then if we uh, watch the other video you can see what it turns out like. But that's a nice little easy demonstration on how we can apply those uh, enamel powders to our pewter keyring. 